The year 2022 was excellent. It's the recovery year from the COVID, and it was also a recovery from five years of uh, depression in the Palestinian economy. So uh, we have till now uh, guaranteed an 8% growth in the trading, and uh, we have seen the number of investors growing. Now it's around 72,000. It started around 68,000. Uh, we are trading with around half a billion dollars of uh, volume of trading till now. So we're expecting a good year. And most importantly is that the growth of the companies composing the stock exchange, the 48, 49 companies, have guaranteed also a good uh, income, dividends, cash dividends, but also uh, gross income that they have produced compared to previous year and the year before. The growth in their income is something like 80%, so it's huge. However, it did not reflect immediately on the stock exchange, expecting it to be reflected next year. It's a main challenge uh, because we are having some doubts about the role of uh, international investors, especially funds who usually was investing in our uh, stock exchange. Their number is becoming less, but of course the problem is not just the number of uh, the, the funds, but also how much they are investing outside their own countries in the UK, in um, the US and so on. The global market is not really the same global market a year ago. So from our perspective, we need to dig more in the local market and in the regional market. That's why we're going into more retail. We're trying to address the retail. We're trying to address the youth with mobile, uh, uh, with, with people buying through the mobile, not through the agents or brokerage firms, and trying to understand the dynamics. It's a new dynamic. It didn't settle yet, but it's moving, and we are moving behind it. If it comes to the youth or if it comes to women, the, the retail business is different from the funds and from the corporate business. And we think that this is what we need to do uh, immediately because of what's happening in the world. We have done our uh, basic budget for next year and we are expecting more companies to be listed as IPOs in our stock exchange, around five of them. Uh, we're opening up again for the retail, so we're expecting some specific results uh, to be coming. Uh, we're hoping that an increase of around 20% we'll be having in 2023 compared to this year, which means that the recovery of the stock exchange is almost complete because of what was happening in the last five years and in particular uh, the two years of the COVID, uh, the previous ones. So it's a good year, the coming one, and we're hopeful in spite of the wars and the zones and whatever is happening around us. Mm -hmm.